Are you ready? My Belizean ladies, bring it to the owner. No. It was a concert promoted in 2020 that never happened because of the COVID pandemic's onslaught, forcing a global shutdown. We tell her, well, we have to cancel it. So then say, okay, no problem. Just shoot another date when all is done. We understand the pandemic that the part of the country have been good. But all was not good after the borders reopened. Promoters of the initial Dexter Dops concert, Dion Dixie Longsworth and Sheila Pollard of Go Getter Entertainment, explained today that their efforts to try and get the artist to come and carry on with his show fell flat. And that was after they said they had covered half of the artist's fees. You have to put 50% and then they get the second part when they reach right before they perform. I'm just a lot of lingering, lingering, lingering until they finally say, oh, um, Dexter got new management. He get popular and get more hits within that two years. Mm -hmm. So for we 11 US, that nothing. They not try to reach out to me, you know. I said, I mean, behind the scenes, I'm the one doing all the the um, um, we're communicating with these people, and they have not even tried to say, okay, you know what? Let's try to do it in this way, or let's try to do this. Nothing, nothing. So yeah, it is disrespectful. During the shutdown. Longsworth was also looking forward to the day when the borders would reopen and the concert would take place. In the meantime, he said he was trying to pacify his customers who had already invested in tickets. People buy tickets and I have somebody who like give. So I don't tell everybody, when we do the show back again, if you have one general, I want to upgrade it to a VIP. If you have one VIP, I upgrade it to a platinum. If you have a platinum, I'll give you a, a, a bar tap. Because that, that is why I believe in other people. Longsworth said he realized they would now have to cough up the money to reimburse their customers who had bought tickets when it became evident that their agreement on paper was not going to pan out favorably. He told the media today that keeping their name clean is paramount to making money. We worry about our reputation now. I do from Popcorn to Kiss the Band to Omar, you name it. Our reputation up on the line. Money not the problem. Mm -hmm. Whatever all we want is a date for Anna or people. Because if we never sell ticket like 100 people to our people, we don't have to worry about it. The last and all the back and forth. Mm -hmm. So everybody will purchase one ticket. Um, we will put up a man, give me a couple, like a probably week or two, so that we put up our proper thing. Longsworth and Pollard say they will file a lawsuit against the artist to recover the money they had paid him for the concert. They also say, they will inform those who purchase tickets via Facebook how they will be reimbursed. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.